These should be cornfields, not seas of corn washing ashore. Davis County farmer Charlie Hayden says he didn't know he bought himself lakefront property. The flooding has put Hayden and his family at its mercy. You have no clue. <laughs> it's really gotten me nervous. I checked. Some Kentucky agricultural extension agents estimate flooding has already cost local farmers more than a million dollars in profit. We're looking at a lower corn yield based on a later planting date. The corn that was established, some of that's going to have to be replanted, some of it's going to have to be spotted in, some of it will be left alone, but it's had so much rain it's probably taken some yield off. Like Hayden and many other farmers impacted by flooding, it's the uncertainty of how they will get fields repaired, what crops now they should plant, and most importantly, when to plant. Every day we lose is another day of a yield loss of corn, and um, usually by now all of our corn's planted and we're starting to plant our soybean crop. and. We've done nothing. We have no crop in the ground, no seed in the ground, and um, just really concerned about what, what to do. We definitely will see some 24-hour operations when we go back into the field because we want, if possible, we want to try to get all the corn we can get planted before June 1. 97, I was a senior in high school. I just kind of worked for my dad, but now it's my cousin and I's responsibility, and it affects uh, our family and our pocketbook and everything.